difficulties we are going through right now because we have been in a lockdown for uh, at least three months now and we have a lot of challenges we are going through at this time and the most challenge is racism we are facing racism in a way that we cannot access medical care in hospitals when we go to hospitals and we need any help all they tell us is please go away after checking our passports and finding out that we are blacks actually finding out that we are from africa another challenge we face is we cannot use the public means because when we try to use that like if you want to use a bus and you enter bus uh, all the chinese come out they all come out and they live in the bus and all like they are protesting they can't travel with an african another challenge is we are not allowed to use like to go to the supermarket to buy what we want we cannot use the hotels when we go there after checking your passport the only thing they tell you is go away please go away when you insist like you want to, to you want something they call the police and what the police tells you is please go away then another issue is um another challenge is some of our friends are have been uh, thrown out of the houses they've been renting with no reason, not anything. The landlord just comes one morning and tells you, please make sure that today you leave my house. And another thing is, uh, another challenge is, they are forcing us to test for COVID-19 because uh, they come to our houses with no notification. They just come to your house and ask for your passport if you're african they tell you that we've come to uh, to to test for covid 19. if you're not african they tell you no and when they come uh they after testing they only tell you that we shall call you after three days when you're positive and if you're not positive no one will call you they don't leave you with any Welcome back and on today's news it says Ugandans kicking out Chinese residents from their business premises just like it is happening to Africans in China. Ugandan, Uganda has begun serving local Chinese residents with the same hostility meted out to some Africans in China. In a video, a business owner in Uganda is seen giving orders not to allow any access to Chinese citizens into their premises. Horrible videos as you've seen and, and pictures have been flying across the internet showing how Africans in China have been denied access to their hotels and apartments on the basis that they may be carrying the virus. The African Union and other international organizations have condemned this inhumane act by China on African residents and called for a seizure. Obviously, racism is never the answer. And as well, a lot of people have the opinion that, you know, because it's happening to Africans in China doesn't mean that, you know, in Uganda, the country has to also be racist to Chinese people there. At the end of the day, the government in China would have to step in and order for these people to be accepted back into their homes because it doesn't make sense. And there are even videos of Africans going to McDonald's in China and they're not being allowed to have food. It's like, how are they going to eat? And for them to be roaming around the streets and not letting anywhere goes against the concept of quarantining and self-isolation because you're not helping flatten the curve of infected patients and the cases that could possibly happen so this is obviously not right it shouldn't be happening anyway but i think at this point um the the chinese government will have to step in to cater to the needs of africans in china and make sure that they're being treated equally because you'd expect that we're in the 21st century and we've left this all behind but clearly it's still um being practiced and to think that uh, an African would enter the bus and all the Chinese would get down as a form of protest to think that they can't be in the same bus with them because they're likely to have the coronavirus. It, it Things are not adding up. To think that the virus actually originated from China and it's now affecting the whole world, that says a lot. And to think the demographic that they're being um, prejudiced against has the less as the least amount of infected cases in their whole continent and the least amount of deaths so numbers speak for themselves and they should not really be the targeted people or no one should be targeted in the first place put what you think in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe